that's why he inspired you to accept this now. So that's a lesson of Allah. So first of all, let me give you a brief talk. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the... So, you know some of So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent and the Merciful. First of all, I like to welcome you along with our sisters who are accompanying you to Al-Islam Masjid. And as you showed your interest in Islam, so as I told you that that is a selection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he brought you here to accept Islam and to accept the deen being brought by Muhammad peace be upon him. Islam is not the religion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Islam is basically the religion and deen. We don't call it religion, but only to make other people understand, we use the word religion. Otherwise, there is a big difference between religion and deen. Because religion is a set of a few rituals, why Islam is a complete code of life and system of life. Yes, because it teaches us how to go to the bathroom and do our job. It teaches us how to run the state and it teaches us how to handle the international affairs. So from bathroom up to international affairs, everything is there in this deen. So that's why it is called deen, not religion. But in English language, we don't find any other word for deen. So that's why to make other to understand, we use the word religion. Now, as you understood it, so I'm not using the word religion, I will use the word deen. Got it? So Islam is not the deen of Muhammad, peace be upon him. That is the deen of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He sent it. Islam is not the, a deen for Muhammad only, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The first one who was a Muslim, that was Prophet Adam, the great grandfather of humanity. Then after him, Prophet Noah, then Prophet Abraham, then Prophet Isaac, Prophet Ishmael. Prophet Jacob, Prophet Joseph, Prophet Joshua, Prophet Moses, Prophet Arun, Prophet Jesus, all of them they are Muslims. Because what Muslim mean? The one who submit to the will of God. So all of them were submitting to the will of God and calling people towards the will of God and to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Holy Quran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned these various prophets and messengers, so then he addressed us and he said, وَأَنَّ هَذِهِ أُمَّتُكُمْ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا These people which I mentioned, this is your group and you are one and the same group. You are one and the same Ummah. So Islam started with Prophet Adam. It processed towards completion through all these prophets and messengers and completed and perfected in the time of Muhammad. Peace be upon him and peace be upon all of them. And that's why, for a Muslim, this is not the case only to believe in Allah and believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. A Muslim is bound to believe in Adam as prophet, to believe in Nuh as prophet, to believe in Abraham as prophet, to believe in Moses as prophet, to believe in Jesus as prophet. If a Muslim will say that I believe in Muhammad but not in Jesus, we will never consider him a Muslim. If Muslim will say, I believe in Muhammad, but not in Moses or Ibrahim, we will say he is not a Muslim, he is a non-Muslim. Got it? And same is the case of the books revealed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala towards a few messengers like Ibrahim got his own scriptures from Allah. Prophet Musa, he got his own book from Allah. Prophet Jesus, he got his own, you people call it Bible, we call it Injil. Yes, he got Injil from Allah and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he got this Holy Quran from Allah. So all these are called divine books. So for a Muslim that is must to believe in all these books in its original shape. In its original, why I said its original shape? Because all these followers, they change the contents of their books according to their wills. Whatever suitable for them, they turn it like this. Got it? So that's why I say 
that we believe in all these books in its original shape. How we will find out that this concept is original and this is not criterion is this holy book. So whatsoever is there in G, or in Torah, or in the scripture of Ibrahim, or in the Psalms of David, which is in regards to this book, we say we believe that. But if something that is other way around, that this book says one thing, and in that book something else is written, so then we say that's perversion. That's what? That's a perversion. That is a change. And what is the the the, the dalil or evidence for that perversion? There. You are here in America. Now, as a test, you can go from this mosque to another mosque. And you can pick up a Quran there. There will be no any difference of comma, colon, and semicolon in this Quran which we have, and in that Quran which they have. You will go to Middle East, you will pick up the Quran, you will not find any change of colon or um, uh, means uh, conjunctions even in any book. You will go to Far East, you will not find any difference. But here, for example, if there were church and church well, you will go there and you will pick up a Bible and you will study it, a page or two page. Just go one mile away to another church, so there the Bible in that concept will be totally changed one. Got it? So, anyhow, so this deen is the deen of Allah, number one. Number two, this is deen of all the prophets. And number three, this is deen of humanity. Because who is the creator of the whole world? Say, Allah. And who is the creator of humanity? Allah. So this deen is sent by Allah. So for humanity, we have only one deen, and that is Islam. That is Islam. Perfect in the time of the Prophet ﷺ because this deen was in process towards its completion. So now, number one, that is the deen of Allah and deen of all the messengers and completed in the time of Muhammad, but still, we don't force and we cannot force anybody, even in a Muslim country, to convert him to Islam by force. And if you will look into the history, so Spain was ruled by Muslim rulers for 800 years. But nobody from history can bring one single example that these rulers has ever forced a Jew or a Christian to turn to Islam. But the Jews themselves, they have written in their books that our golden time was in Spain when the Muslims were rulers there. Got it? Number two, India, which is our area. India is ruled by Muslim rulers for more than 1,000 years. But still, India is a non-Muslim majority country. Because India, majority are Hindus, non-Muslims. Still a majority country. Why? Because these Muslim rulers never forced any Hindu by force to turn to Muslim. Why? Because in Holy Quran, Allah says, La There is no coercion or use of force regarding conversion. The only thing is, you have to convey the message. And you must try to convince the person. If he with free will want to convert, then you should say yes. Bismillah. That's why I ask you that you are expecting Islam with your free will. Why? As I give you an example, that you are going to car dealer. Nobody can force you buy a car here from. It will not be a legal a legitimate contract. Yes, you can verify it any time that I was forced to. So this is also a contract, but with the creator. So that's why you need a free will. Because if by force, I will convert someone beating him that say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. So when my force or my power is gone, once again he will be the same non Muslim. He will turn around. But if in a battlefield, someone, non Muslim, he said, Ashadu Allah, 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 whatever the reason is, but he said it. So we accept him as a Muslim. He has all the right of Muslims. There is a hadith. Hadith may be saying of our Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One of his beloved Sahabi and companion, Usama ibn Zayd, a young general, 
he was relating his story in the battlefield to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So he said, Ya Rasulullah, in battlefield, when I lifted up my sword, I'm a non-Muslim. So he threw down his sword and he said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammad atu Rasul. I testify that there is no God but only Allah, and I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Subhan. Prophet said, "Some smiled." He became happy, free, smiled. So he said, "Osama, and what of you?" So Osama ibn Zaid was a young man, a young fellow. He said, "Qatar, I killed him." Qatar, Mahar, what you Rasul did? Rasul Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His look turned. But why? Why you killed him? When he said kalima and he took shahada, so that was the the, the, the understanding of Osama. Ya Rasulullah, he said it only to save his life. He said it only to save his life. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, "You mean that not from the bottom of his heart?" Why you not stretch his chest to look into his heart? That he has said it from the bottom of his heart, or only to save his life? He said, "Say Astaghfirullah, ask forgiveness from Allah, Subhanahu wa Taala." Because Islamic law, Islam law decrees upon apparent things, and apparent is that if somebody says, "Shabbatullah ilallah," or "Shabbatullah Muhammad Abdul Rasul," we say, "You are our Muslim brother." We are. We cannot go to his inside to find out the in his heart because if we will open his chest and we will open his heart, we will find the blood there only. We do not know anything else that is known only to Allah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So anyhow, now when somebody is accepting Islam, so we are offering him two things. Number one, give me your hand. Bismillah. Pledge of allegiance. This word. Pleasure of allegiance. So I will say some words. You will follow me. Bismillah. Bismillah. Hir Rahma. Nir Rahim. It means that in the name of Allah, the beneficent and the merciful. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa Ashhadu. Wa Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Abuduhu wa Rasulu. Then follow me in translation. I testify that there is no God, but only Allah. And I testify that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the true slave servant of Allah. Slave servant of Allah and his messenger. Amantu. Billahi, Billahi, wa, wa, malaikatihi, malaikatihi, ah, uh, wa kutubihi, wa kutubihi, wa kutubihi, wa kutubihi, wa rusulihi, wa rusulihi, wa liyomil, wa liyomil, yomil, 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 akhiri, akhiri, wa alqadri, wa alqadri, khairihi, 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 wa sharrihi, wa sharrihi. من الله من الله تعالى تعالى والباسي والباسي بعد ال بعد ال مو مو I believe in Allah I believe in Allah in His angels in His angels in His revealed books in His revealed books in His messengers in His messengers in the last day of this world in the last day of this world in free Ordained in preordained divine law, divine law, and in life after death, in life after death. Congratulations.